morning ladies and gentlemen Berta we're here trusting that you are doing well trusting you had a super awesome weekend as well my sister my brother so uh, may I ask you how is the weather in your uh, neighborhood uh, earlier today it was overcast and it looks like now the sun is coming out so it's very warm it's very uh, I always say humid right now so how is it in your neighborhood my sister my brother so may I ask you did you take time out to study remember we must study the word this is a must 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 we must study the word and we know it is so late on planet earth and the solution is Jesus Christ and he states for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life and that is John 3 16 let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Father God, I ask you right now that you will decrease me so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so scripture reading is coming from, let's see, it's coming from Romans 12, verses 21. Romans 12, verses 21. Romans 12, verses 21, and it says, Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Let me repeat that. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Awesome. So if you hear any noise, as my husband is working on the well, we've been having some well issues uh, it's been a couple of weeks now, and so that's what's going on. And then there was a squirrel up in that tree. Can you guys see the squirrel up in that tree there? See him hopping from one branch? I guess you guys can see that. He's up here now. But it's beautiful out here. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's get into our topic. We are in Chapter 4. <laughs> can you believe it? Chapter 4 of the truth about angels. The truth about angels. And we're in Chapter 4 of the truth about angels so let's get into it it said the origin of evil the origin of evil a mystery the angels had been created full of goodness and love they loved one another in particularly and their God supremely and they were prompted by this love to do his pleasure the law of God was not a grievous yoke to them, but it was their delight to do his commandments, to hearken unto the voice of his word. But in this state of peace and purity, sin originated with him who has been perfect in all his ways. The prophet writes of him, thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. Sin is a mysterious, unexplainable thing. There was no reason for its existence. To seek to explain is, is to seek to give a reason for it, and that would be to justify it. Sin appeared in a perfect universe, a thing that was shown to be inexcusable. inexcusable. So there was no excuse for sin, inexcusable. It was a perfect universe. Let me go back. There was no reason for its existence to speak. Let me go back. Father God, continue to take full control. Calm my mind and my heart in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay. It says, there was no reason for his existence. To seek to explain it is to give, is to seek to give a reason for it. And that would be to justify it. Sin appeared in a perfect universe, a thing that was shown to be inexcusable. God had a knowledge of the event of the future, even before the creation of the world. Good morning, Roxy. Good morning, girl. He did not make his purpose to fit circumstances, but he allowed matters to develop and worked out. He did not work to bring about a certain conditions of things, but he knew that such a condition would exist. 
the plan that would be carried out upon the defection of any of the high intelligence of heaven. This is the secret, the mystery which has been hid from ages. You guys understand that? Let me go back. It says the plan, so we said, he did not work to bring about a certain condition of things, but he knew that such a condition would exist. The plan that would, that should, the plan that should be carried out upon the defection, meaning the betrayal of any of the high intelligence of heaven. This is the secret, the mystery which had been hid from ages and and an offering was prepared in the eternal purpose to do the very work which God has done for fallen humanity. It said the entrance of sin into heaven cannot be explained. Let me repeat that. The entrance of sin into heaven cannot be explained. If it were explainable, it would show that there was some reason for sin. But as there was not the least excuse for it, the original, the origin, origin will ever remain, uh, meaning uncovered, me shrouded in mystery, meaning covered, meaning veiled in mystery. God did not create evil. Let me repeat that. God did not create evil. The own, he only made the good, which was like himself. Evil sin and death are the result of disobedience which originated in satan let me repeat that evil sin and death are the result of disobedience which originate in satan does that does that make sense in satan hey my goodness my brother stopped by hey Hey, how are you? Hope you are doing well. So you guys understand that? So sin originate and death are the result of, of disobedience. So who originated sin is Satan himself. So that concludes my topic today, my sister, my brother, uh, the origin of evil. So on um, tomorrow, we're going to go into the first inkling, inkling of evil, inkling of evil. So that will be our topic for tomorrow. So may I share with you my devotion? Now, let me just drink some water first. Roxy looks like she's thirsty. But she has water all over this place, so she knows where to find her water. So let's go into the devotion. And this is by Ellen G. White, The Upward Look. Can you guys see that? the upward look thank you my brother for stopping by i tell you i tell you he's all the way on the other side of the world and it says uh christian uh minute man christian i'm sorry christ minute man christ minute man if any man will come after me let him deny himself take up the cross and follow me and you can find this in matthew on uh, 16 verses 24 let us bow for prayer father god i ask you father god to continue to take full control i thank you in jesus name amen and amen and it says here the natural appetite and inclination crave earthly pleasure but those who love Jesus will bring those appetite and inclination into harmony with his will. They have chosen to be on the Lord's side, and their lives are to stand out in vivid contrast to the self-seeking of worldlings. The temper will come to them with, with his uh, flattering and bribe saying, All this will I give thee if thou wilt worship me. But they know that he had nothing worthy, worth receiving, and they refused to yield to his temptation. Through the grace of God, they are enabled to keep their purity of principle spotless. Holy angels are close beside them, and Christ is revealed in their steadfast adherence to the truth. There are Christ's minute man bearing as true witnesses a decided testimonies in the favor of his truth they show that there is a spiritual power that can enable man 
not to div uh, not to let me go back not to swear or to um, de deviate let me go back they show that there is a spiritual power that can enable men not to swerve meaning um, devi uh, deviate an inch from truth and justice for all the gift man can bestow such one wherever they may be will be honored of heaven because they have conformed their life to the will of god caring not what sacrifice they are called upon to make let me repeat that such one wherever they may be will be honored of heaven because they have conformed their life to the will of god caring not what sacrifices they are called upon to make pretend uh, pretense is not religion remember let me repeat that pretense is not religion a shallowness must be avoided christian character is built by receiving and believing in christ as many as receive him to them gave he power to become the sons of god even to them that believe on his name and you can find this in john john chapter 1 verses 12. the true christian carefully cherish the truth realizing that it is more precious than gold he has an argument that is proof against all the assaults of the enemies nothing but the truth of god can meet the needs of the soul let me repeat that nothing but the truth of god can meet the needs of the soul this truth must be enshrined in the heart become a part of the life thus an experience is gained that makes the soul watchful careful to do nothing that would be out of harmony with the will of him who died that men and women might have eternal life he was tempted in all point as we are yet without sin he knows how to help he knows how to aid those who are tempted satan is ever watching for our chance to corrupt the souls and spoil the integrity he who is off his guard will be assailed meaning we're going to be attacked and overcome our safety depends on having christ as our savior the pardon that he gives brings rest and security to the soul let us be sure that we are rooted and grounded in the faith Bible doctrines are precious to the soul because they contain holy principle. Let me repeat that. It says, let us be sure that we are rooted and grounded in the faith. Bible doctrines are precious to the soul because they contain holy principles. Mm. So that concludes my topic, my sister, my brother. Uh, Christ's minute man. Okay. Christ minute man so may I share my to my wow maybe I think I need to use uh, move my tripod it's kind of got a little bit dark so let's see where I'm going to move it I don't want too much sun hold on I'm in this cactus over here I'm in my cactus plant I don't know if that's going to be good hold on oh that's a little bit better did I see this plant? I always show this whenever I come over here. These things like has like a rattle in there. You guys hear it? You saw all the seeds going flying all over. But if you look, my um, the tree I had over here, my eucalyptus died. We have one in the front, but this one died for whatever reason. It was already tall, but it died. Nevertheless, let's get moving. Let's get moving. So this is the hymn. This is my will. This is my will, my one command, that love should dwell amongst you all. This is my will that you should love as I have shown that I loved you. No greater love a man can have than that he died to save his friend. You are my friend if you obeyed what I command that you should do. You choose not me, 
but I choose you, that you should go and bear much fruit. I choose you out, that you in me should bear much fruit, that will abide. Should bear much fruit, that will abide. Here is the last verse. All that I ask, my Father dear, for my name's sake you shall receive. This is my will, my one command, that love should dwell in each in all. Mm. This is my will, my one command, that love should dwell in each in all. This is my will. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. Let me put that over there. I need more water. Okay, my sister and brother. So let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message today, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you did not leave me here by myself, Father God. I thank you for my, my brother right now that stopped by, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for my other friends and um, sisters and brothers that will stop by in the future. Father, continue to be with each one of them, Father God. Give them a blessing from on high, Father God. Allow them to feel your presence, Father God. Give them a hug like they have never received a hug today. And we thank you, Father God. So, Father God, if I had said anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, I ask you that you forgive me, Father God, and I promise to do better the next time, Father God. Once you, Father God, once you have cleansed me, Father God, and we ask you, Father God, that you will fill us with the power with the strength, with the love, with the peace, with the endurance, that we could continue this battle that you have called each one of us to stand, to make a stand for thee, Father God. We thank you, we thank you, Father God, that you are God, that you sit high, you look low, and you see our individual needs, Father God. We know right now, some, Father God, that some people are experiencing, experiencing hardship. Some people are in, are, are in need of healing. Some people are experiencing lost a loved one. So, Father God, there's so many things that's going on right now, Father God, and we know that you see. We know, Father God, that you have already provided the solution. You have already provided the answer. All we need to do right, right, right now, Father God, is to take the action to believe in your word. And we thank you, Father God, for being so patient, so loving with us, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Don't forever give you all the praise the honor and glory. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so if this was a blessing to you, if you have received maybe one nugget, maybe two nuggets, can you do me a favor? Can you hit the share button? Uh, you know, sharing is caring. Can you hit the like button? You can make a comment. What are you doing? Uh, right now I've got uh, I've got a couple um, projects I need to finish. Um, I got some couple projects I need to finish. And then, uh, I am not cooking, I am not washing today. Uh, I told you I have water issues going on right here. So with that, so that's what I'm doing. So what are you doing? What are you doing today? Oh, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Hey, thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you. That's my brother. He's in um, Belize City, Central America. So thank you, thank you. I love you, love you, love you. For Thank you for, talk, for stopping by, stopping by here. Thank you so much. And that's my uh, brother, same brother, same same mother, same father. So I love you. love you, my brother. Thank you for stopping by. So my sister and brother, so then once you do that, once you do the uh, like, you did the comment, you did the share, then you can follow me over YouTube under Burdell Warrior. And you can help me to grow my YouTube channel over there. And uh, while you're over there, you can hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. So when my videos goes up, you'll be the first to be notified. And I thank you for helping me in advance for growing my YouTube um, channel. So may God continue to richly bless you and your family. But before you go, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. And what is that? <laughs> of course, may I have a hug? May I have a hug? So here we go. One, two... Three. Thank you so much, my sister and brother. Thank you so much for that hug. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. So consider yourself hugged today. Now, you can't go around and say, I did not get a hug or go around with a sour face today. No, 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 no. You need to be cheerful. doesn't matter what's going on in your life. You need to have a happy face on. Because why? Because God is carrying you through. He sees everything and he has already answered 
He already provide the answer. So what are you stressing about? Why are you stressing? No stressing, no stress, stress, stress. Leave it at the feet of Jesus, my sister and brother. So until tomorrow, be blessed and take care. Love you, love you, love you guys, take care.